Let me give you a little taste of what Absinthe is like. I'm running in standalone mode. Of course, we can run it as a plugin. And we're seeing the browser here. This is a browser that's fairly standard across the Native Instruments product line. If you don't see the browser, you need to click this browser button at the top. And then I can choose different elements from the categories and narrow down my list, or I can use the search field. So let's pull up an avant-garde sound. So I click on avant-garde under genre. I have my list on the right-hand side of all my results, and I can scroll up and down and pick one that I like. When we find the sound we want, we just click on it, it's loaded, and we play. Choose Chain Reactor. Notice this fine-tuning section down at the bottom, where it's very easy to make changes on the fly just one of the ways we can control absinthe. Let's grab a different sound. We'll go for a soundscape that's granular. We'll make it noisy and randomized. And I'll take off the genre. And let's grab this gate to kill. Now, of course, the sounds in Absinthe don't have to be as far out as the ones I've been showing you. We can get something more acoustic sounding and more like a real instrument, if you will. So let's grab a pluck string and how about a harp? Now, on the performance page, we have lots of macros. We can assign these macros to MIDI controllers and we can define which parameters they control. By going to the patch page, we can see the details of our sound, and we can define oscillators, filters, wave shapers, modulators, and so forth. The wave page is where we create and modify waves that are used in oscillators or LFOs or wave shapers. We can even morph between two waves. The envelope page lets me define numerous envelopes, each with up to 68 breakpoints. I can even define an LFO that is combined with the envelope. The LFO page lets me define three LFOs that can be used to control various parameters within Absinthe. And finally, the effects page lets me define effects that are used to really round out my instrument. So you can see there's a lot of capability under the hood. We'll look at it all in the remainder of this course.